Now that we've had a chance to talk about the RX Java and Project Reactor frameworks and a bit of their key classes, we're going to turn our attention to focusing on the big fraction case studies. These case studies use a big fraction class, which we'll explain in a moment, in order to demonstrate various features in RX Java and Project Reactor. The big fraction class is available in open source form from my GitHub repository. And as you can see here, it's got a whole bunch of methods to find on it. The big fraction implementation itself uses two fields. One is the numerator, the other is denominator. And these are using big integers, so they have arbitrary precision arithmetic defined on integers. And combined, it allows us to do arbitrary precision arithmetic on fractions. There's a number of factor methods that can be used to create reduced fractions. For example, the value of methods we show here can take a fraction like 44 55ths and automatically reduce it to the 4 fifths fraction, or 144 216 ths and have that be reduced by the value of method to the 2 thirds fraction. There's also some methods that can be used to create non-reduced fractions and then reduce them. For example, there's another factory method called value of that you can give a parameter to indicate whether or not to reduce the fraction. So for example, you could create the non-reduced fraction 12 24 in a non-reduced form, and then you could use the reduce method later to reduce it to the reduced fraction 1 half. Not surprisingly, there's also a whole slew of arbitrary precision fraction arithmetic methods, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In this case, you could take a big fraction like 18 fourths times 2 thirds, end up with a value of 3. And then finally, there's also a method that can take a so-called mixed fraction and get a mixed fraction from an improper fraction. So for example, if we have an improper fraction like 18 fourths, we can then go ahead and call the two mixed string method and convert that into the mixed fraction four and one halves. So now let's give a quick overview of the big fraction case studies themselves. These case studies show how to reduce and multiply big fractions synchronously, asynchronously, and concurrently using various Project Reactor and RX Java framework features. There's a number of case studies that are in the reactive mono folder in my GitHub repository. And these mono case studies show how to reduce and multiply big fractions by using many of the methods defined on the mono class in Project Reactor. And these include things like from callable, just, zip, zip with, and so on. Of course, there's also another folder called reactive flux, which demonstrates how to use the flux class from Project Reactor to reduce and multiply big fractions. And some of the flux methods or flux features we'll talk about will be from iterable, just map, create, do on next, flat map, and so on. This case study series also demonstrates how you can use the Java Streams framework, which came around in Java 8, in conjunction with the Project Reactor framework. So you can actually combine these two different styles of functional programming and reactive programming to create something that will work together in a very seamlessly integratable way. There's also a set of RX Java case studies as well. The first one we'll look at here briefly is the case studies focusing on the single class. Once again, these case studies demonstrate how to reduce and multiply big fractions using many of the RX Java single features, things like from callable, zip with, zip array, map, ignore element, and so on. And you can find those in the reactive single folder in my GitHub repository. There's also a set of case studies dealing with RX Java observables, showing how you can reduce and multiply big fractions using many observable features, like just map, create, interval, filter, and so on. And you can find this in the reactive observable folder. So that's the end of the quick overview of the big fraction case studies. We will go through all these case studies in very great detail later, but I wanted to give you the bird's eye view before we start diving into the details so you can start poking around in the code, taking a look, seeing how the case studies are laid out. And the slides that we'll be talking about and the lessons we'll be covering mimic and mirror in many ways the structure of those folders so you can follow along quite conveniently.